Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Junie B and I am back with another hair review. Today I am reviewing some hair that I received from Love Me Hair and um, thank you to Love Me Hair for sending this beautiful unit for me to review. And as you guys can see, the packaging is super duper stellar. I mean, the box felt like velvet. It was so soft and the contents inside were was even better. So as you can see, the unit comes in a um, a little nice sack. Has a, the sack has like a silky feel to it as well. It's not silk, but it feels that way. And the contents inside include a wig cap and a nice little Ziploc storage baggie to keep uh, your rat tail comb, some tweezers. Also comes with a super duper cute little barrette that says love me. The elastic band was very nice as well and the bobbing pins. Here is the unit, very beautiful natural black color. The unit comes with combs and adjustable straps. Um, again, we saw the elastic band earlier. The unit that I received was about 10 inches in length. Um, and the cat space on this unit is pretty average. Um, the lace is of a natural kind of a tint. And the unit says that it is 100, I'm sorry, 200% density okay guys before I just dive right in I have to admit that I made a lot of mistakes with this unit install I was debating on whether or not to even post this uh, video but because it's a review I had to had to um, and hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes I'm gonna share with you guys some mistakes that I made right here I'm just tweezing the hairline but with this type of unit with the style that it is I really didn't even have to pluck the hairline because the hairline is obscured um, you really can't see the hairline because of how the unit is styled um, I am going to share with you that I did attempt to do a ball cap method but again because the hairline is you know not detectable it didn't even make sense for me to do a ball cap method or attempt to do a ball cap method this was my first time doing that and a ball cap method is really a nice um, effect for if you're going to be showing the hairline to make the hairline look more desirable and natural but for this unit I could have just used some hairspray or some got to be glue to secure the wig on my head but again I'm going to share with you some mistakes that I made with this install As you can see, I got my stocking cap on and I am applying my um, foundation to the cap. Um, this review was like the last review I did on a recording day, so I already had a full face of makeup. And by the time I realized that, hey, I have to glue this down, I need my skin around the perimeter of my uh, hairline to be cleaned off, I gotta take this off. Um, so you're going to see me take off the makeup around the perimeter of my face or my hairline. See, I'm thinking, 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 thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. So yeah, now I'm taking the makeup off the perimeter of my head because you need that area to be, you need that area to be clean. I'm using them uh, before you glue it down. So now I'm wiping it off. And my, another mistake that I made is that you can kind of see my hairline um, as I'm removing the makeup. So I did not pull the unit down far enough either, unfortunately. So now I'm just trying to get a feel of the unit on my head. Um, something that I kind of feel like I should have done is maybe applied the unit before I did my makeup because once I apply this glue 
it's got to be and secure it on my head, then I have to reapply the makeup to, uh, to make everything blend and camouflage. It's just more work. It's an extra step that is really unnecessary. So here I am using a blow dryer to get the got to be glue semi dry, kind of tacky so I can lay the unit down on top. And as you can see, my hairline is not really even going to show because the hair falls downward kind of uh, obscuring the hairline and here I'm trying to fix the part a little bit because um, I didn't pull the cap down far enough my widow's peak is peeking through so now I'm trying to fix that And I kind of got glue or got to be on the actual hair fibers. So I didn't like that either. You can kind of see there, I got the hair, the glue kind of on my forehead. Here again, extra work, extra step. I'm just trying to obscure um, where I had removed my makeup, so I'm trying to reapply my makeup to the area. And now I am just flat ironing the unit to make it very sleek and smooth. And let me tell you guys something, I, like it was several times during this recording that I wanted to abort, abort, abort the mission, abort the mission, because I kept running into problems. I don't think that I should have recorded this, this being my first attempt at a ball cap method. I don't think I should have tried to record this, but at the same time, you know, this was a learning experience and hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. You can see that I'm using a makeup wipe to try to remove that glue that got to be glue is leaving like an ashy residue on the hair. So if you are going to use got to be glue, just try to be careful to make sure that the residue doesn't get on the unit. And you know, this was a learning experience for me. My first time using trying the bop cap method and my first time really gluing down a unit. I haven't. I usually don't use glue to secure my units, but since this was a human hair unit and I wanted to try something different to show you guys, I decided to do that. The end product is pretty okay. Like it looks okay. The install actually looks decent. Um, I just made a lot of mistakes. Um, hopefully you guys can learn from the mistakes I made and hopefully as I continue to try to do these type of tutorials, I will get better. We can get better together, right? <laughs> So um, I hope you like this unit. It's very, very pretty, sleek, sexy, 100% um, human hair, very affordable. The link to this unit will be in the description box below. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.